He says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Really? Now when I think of a yoke, I don't think of something that is light, but a better translation would be well-fitting. You see, the carpenter would custom design the yoke for the animal that would use it. And in the same way, God, when he gives you this yoke where you're committed to him and submitted to him, uh, it's not burdensome. In fact, 1 John 5, 3 says, this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. You know, some people say the Christian life is a drag. It's just a bunch of rules and regulations. I don't like to live by the commandments of God, really. Which ones are you struggling with? Are you bummed out that you can't steal, kill, lie, and murder people? Was that something you would have done otherwise? Don't the commandments make sense when you stop and think about them? Years ago, I, I was looking in the backyard and, uh, and I saw this brightly colored little bird nestled in the grass, shaking, <laughs> looked very afraid. That's probably because my fairly large German shepherd was looking right at him. And I think that bird knew that, you know, it was gonna be curtained soon. So I walked out, where did this bird come from? It looked like someone's pet bird, actually. And, I kneeled down and I, I put my finger out and the little bird jumped right on my index finger. So I walked in the house and Kathy's cooking something in the kitchen. I said, Kathy, look what I just found. Look at that bird. She took it and threw it in the pan. We ate it. It was very good. No, I'm kidding. I, in one sermon I've talked about dragging dogs and eating birds. Okay, so I said, look at this little bird that I found. She said, where did you find that? It was in the backyard. I think it's someone's pet. Well, what do we do with it? Well, I don't know. And, and Jonathan said, well, there's a little girl down the street that has a bird cage. Her bird died. Shall I get it? I said, yeah, run and get it. So he runs down the street, brings the cage back. We set it on the counter. I open up the little door of the cage. A bird's still on my finger. I bring my hand over to the cage door and he jumps right in. I didn't have to push him in. He jumped in, got up on the perch. He's swinging back and forth. Happy days are here again, you know. <laughs> he liked being in a cage. Now that goes against conventional wisdom. Some would say, hey man, don't like put the animals in the cages, okay? Set them free. This bird was about to be an appetizer for my dog. He didn't see the bars of that cage as a prison keeping him in. He saw those bars as walls of protection keeping predators out. So we can look at the commandments of God in the same way. Oh yeah, you can say, oh, it's, it's you know, constraining and makes my life miserable. Or you can see them for what they are. They're a barrier of protection to keep your predators, your enemies, your adversaries out. His commandments are not burdensome. He says, my burden is light and my yoke is easy. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. 